If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, evening, morning, and at noon, I will pray. Teach us to pray. Pray without ceasing. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. One of the great privileges and responsibilities for each of us as Christians is to embrace the spiritual discipline of intentional prayer time and to pray continually. Time spent with God in prayer, petition, and praise is never time wasted. We are to have personal prayer time with God and corporate prayer time with God. Growing up, I remember having prayer meetings with the focus on praying, seeking God, worshiping Him, and listening for God to speak to us as individuals and as the church. Coming together to pray always strengthened us as the church, His body, a people belonging to God. At this time, we are seeing a great move of God as people gather to pray. Churches are opening their doors. People from across the globe are coming together to pray. Campuses are being transformed. Churches are being revived. Lives are being changed. Prayer truly does change us. I encourage our churches to be intentional in praying together, providing opportunities for people to gather to pray, seek God, worship, and be open to the move of the Holy Spirit. Pastors, lead your church into times of prayer. During our regular worship services, allow for times of prayer around the altars. Let us pray. We have three opportunities for our New Horizons Ministries, churches, and ministers to come together to pray and to learn about prayer. First, a regional prayer gathering will be May the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th at the Heartland Conference Center in Oklahoma City. We will join with International Pentecostal Holiness Church people from the Midwest for prayer together to seek God and to let Him speak to us. Our second is Destiny. Our Destiny event will be June the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th at Okmulgee Refuge Church featuring Dr. Doug Small, noted speaker and author who has written numerous books and trained thousands on the subject of prayer. And finally, in the fall, we will have a prayer summit for specialized training for pastors and prayer leaders from local churches to learn the importance of making prayer a focus of every ministry in the church, of teaching the importance of the family altar, and of truly becoming houses of prayer for the nations. I'm Bishop Randall Drake. God bless you. Go and tell. Let's pray.